Hey everyone, I wanted to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope everybody had a good break. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the coins that I found recently. Um, this 40% half dollar, I found it uh, searching through rolls. We got stuck um, traveling to some relative's house. Off the 10 freeway, they closed it because there was a snowstorm. And so, uh, you know, stuck in a small town in New Mexico. With nothing else to do, I went to the local bank. I bought $80 worth of half dollars. Now I looked through them, and on the last roll that I uh, searched, I found this uh, 67 half dollar, which is really cool. So something nice to find. Uh, once we got to my relative's house, uh, I was looking through their pennies, trying to sort out the copper ones so I can buy it from them. And I found this 1976 uh, penny from Philadelphia uh, with a counter stamp on it. I believe the state is Minnesota, just from the outline. And um, oh, let me see, sorry. On the side there it says MN, so I can only assume that's Minnesota, so it's really cool. I actually uh, found another penny with, uh, a copper penny with uh, the outline of uh, President Kennedy's head counter stamped in the same location. I just don't know where that one is at the moment, but it's really cool just to find, you know, neat coins like that. And uh, this last penny, it's not copper, it is zinc plated, I weighed it and everything. But it just looks different, and I just wanted to get an opinion from one of you guys who might know a little bit more about, you know, these coins. I don't know if you can tell um, from the video, but the details seem to be uh, very, um, I don't know, like they're not very pronounced. Everything looks kind of, it looks almost like it's worn, but it's not. So I'm not sure if it has to do something with uh, the die not having enough pressure when it was first struck or something. I don't know. Like one of those, um, sorry, that is a neat adjustment or something, like a test strike piece, so I don't know. But um, if any of you know or, you know, have a coin like this, you can let me know. I really appreciate it. And um, now some silver. I bought some silver from somebody online and um, three ounces. And I like these uh, two bars right here because, you know, they're those uh, small, chunky A-mark bars. So those are awesome, but I really, really like this uh, Swiss of America round. It's one ounce. It's uh, the width of a quarter, and it's uh, four times as thick. So it's really cool. And uh, I've only seen uh, one of these rounds in person from uh, another member here, and um, you know I was just impressed by the coin. It's very unusual. So and actually got it, um, you know, at a good price. So. That's always a bonus. And uh, one thing that I noticed about these uh, bars in particular is that they uh, both say on the bottom, A Mark Precious Metals. And uh, I have another one here for comparison that I bought before. And these use, usually just say USVI Ingot Company and it has a date, 1981. But I just thought it was uh, you know weird that this one says A Mark on the bottom and some of the other ones you know don't. So, and then these both say it, so. I thought that was kind of cool. Well, I hope you guys liked the update, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.